Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Trance channel. Today, we are going to be cloned to perfection, looking at the best cloning this software. Uh, stay tuned. Okay, so the whole idea behind the channel is if I have a technical project to do, I share it here. Note the idea in the video itself could be the technical project. Be sure to subscribe, check your notifications, share the video, and like the video on your way in. You could also follow us on X, as known as Twitter. That's our handle. That's our Twitter page. Uh, I'll, this is another way that I can notify you guys of new videos that are coming out as they come out and your support is greatly appreciated uh we at tech team tronics you know you can visit our links down there there's all kinds of stuff in there there's all kinds of goodies you know cool things that i do that you might be interested in and without further ado we're going to talk about some disc cloning software and in this video i featured five disc cloning software that which we're going to look at and i'm going to try out as well so let's see what we have for us here um First, we're going to start with Clonezilla. It's a bootable Linux distribution that does bit-by-bit -bit copying, and it supports many file systems, including FAT32, NTFS, HFS, UFS, NetBSD, OpenBSD, XSS, and so on and so forth. And then we have Macri and Reflect Free Edition. It touts itself as one of the fastest disk cloning utilities available. Uh, this hard drive clone software supports only Windows file system, but it does quite well and has a fairly straightforward user interface. And uh, some of the others that we'll be looking at is Drive Image XML. With Drive Image XML, you could create hot images from a hard disk currently being used. The imaging software runs under Windows XP 2003 Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. And you cannot use Drive, X, Drive Image XML commercially unless you pay. And then you have Ease to do backup, Ease US to do backup, Ease US to do backup. Users can do full or incremental backups and could schedule backups. The paid plans add more functionality to the software through the advanced tools such as command line backup, email notifications, and off-site copies. Also, another software we're going to be looking at is Paragon Backup and Recovery Free. Paragon Backup and Recovery Free is for the standalone Windows machine, and it does an excellent job of handling and scheduling imaging. The community edition of Paragon is capable of scheduling backups, files, volumes, disks, and backup strategy definition. So without further ado, we're going to look at Conezilla, and we're going to see what it does for us and uh, see how it works. Uh, so for us to look at it, I loaded it up in VMware, and I just went to the live disk. I don't really have a disk to clone, but before I went to the live disk, I just went through and just, just saw what the different options are. You have different VGA options, VGA with large font to RAM and that sort of thing. Um, and just to give us a quick idea of what the environment looks like, I booted into the live disk to see. And uh, this is what we got. This is one of my favorite selections here uh, because it allows me the options. It allows me many choices for low cost, as a matter of fact, free. Because uh, you could download it and you got a full functioning um, ISO. And um, so this is what it does. It starts the live environment and it allows you to select the uh, language. So I select the language, keep the default keyboard layout, US keyboard. And then it says you could start to clone Zilla and then there's different options that you have here but well, what I liked about this is that uh, I could uh, you know do a remote destination for um, a clone of a local system that's what made this my favorite here um, so I just played around with the different options just to see what we had um, you could uh, Work directly from a disk or partition to a disk or partition device to device. So you have device to image, device to device, 
remote to source, remote to destination, and all that stuff. And um, I have yet to play around with this. I didn't exactly know exactly what I was doing. So um, I didn't really get too deep into it. So I got the error message and I couldn't really get it going. And like I said, I, I don't really have a disc to clone right now. But stay tuned on the channel. Make sure you subscribe because some of the projects do involve disc cloning and I'm going to have to kind of go to this solution and you will see why in the next few slides or so. So I didn't really, I just wanted to look at what the different options were and see what, you know, it does. It just tried, you know, uh, you know, try the DHCP option. Before cloning, you have to sign where close on it and it will be saved. So I, I have to play around with this a little more to understand it. So I could store it to a local device. I could use it. I mean, you have so many options. You could put it on the SSH server. You could do a Samba server, NFS server, web dash server, AWS server, inner shell, RAM disk, or you could skip. So that's where this clonezilla is like it's open source and it's free so it's probably your best option if you want the many options it's just a matter of just figuring out how to use it and getting it to do exactly what you want and getting the desired result um you even have a command line prompt but i decided to power off for now and just see what that does you know and um that takes us to our next one, which would be Macrium Reflect Free Edition. Uh, so I went to go download the Macrium Reflect Free Edition. I put my uh, information in. And um, what you have to do is you have to give an email address so you could get your download. And um, says thanks for downloading check your email so essentially you know um i had to go to my email and then once i got it from the email you can see that i started downloading it so i downloaded this free edition and um what essentially happened was that um i uh ran the installer so this one you have to actually install and um it gives you the option to do the home edition. I selected the home edition. And uh, it shows you where to download. It's going to download it. And I just let it go to my downloads. And then it downloaded the complete installer. And then we, uh, you know, ran the installer. And uh, to see what we got, the thing is, just note that in, that I used this in a previous project to do the hard drive of this laptop so it was installed here before but removed and so i install it and um uh, do the setup accept the terms of the agreement and then it says please enter your license key i don't really have a license key the trial product is expired that's as far as i could get with it so i couldn't use it but you have to pay to really get any of it. So we have Drive Image XML. Drive Image XML is another choice that I would definitely consider using in a, a situation where I have to uh, clone my hard drive or you know move it and that sort of things. So yes, you have to install it. You have to agree to the terms of the uh, conditions, you know. And then uh, I just put it in at default, and then you are now ready to install Drive Image. And then I ran the installer, and then the installation is complete. So I finished the installation, and um, and this is what it looks like. You have options. Uh, this is like my second choice to Clonezilla. Um, I could back up drives to image files. I have the option to browse the image files. I have the option to restore images to the same or another drive. I could copy directly from drive to drive. I could schedule automatic backups with a task scheduler. And image creation uses Microsoft's Volume Shadow Services (VSS) to allow you to create hot images even from drives currently in use. Images are stored as XML files, allowing you to process them with third-party tools. Never again get stuck with the useless backup. 
And so what I do is I just kind of um, step through and, you know, like see what some of the screens look like. And this is a usable tool. You don't have to pay any money for it. And this is what my drive looks like. And just I'm just going through the different options. And um, and I can load image. I go back to welcome screen. And uh, I have different tools. I have task schedule, enter new drive, disk ID, fix boot, Vista boot problems. We'll look at the about. And uh, drive image XML is a backup restore image and clone. Your drives type utility. Very handy free to use free to download i download it myself it's like i said it's the second thing i would use to clozilla the thing is you can install it on the drive you can get yourself um some, you know some hot images while you're using the drive so that's the major advantage here so it's definitely worth the download so say i click backup and then uh I want to look at my Acer drive. And, um, you know, that's what we have. These are all the drive details. You can, um, it's going to create two files, which would be an XML contains the drive description. And then it has that, which contains the image drives, binary data. And that's how it works. And then, uh, you know, you click next, but this, I didn't clone this drive. I didn't really have a place to put it right now. And then you have the different modes such as locking volumes and such. And I think this is a pretty good option. Now, the other option you have is Ease US to do backup. Ease US to do backup. You go and you download your free version. It's supported by Windows 10, 11, Vista 8. They uh, upsell you with a limited time deal. The only thing you could really do with the free upgrade is backup and restore. Um, so this one's not really an option for me. It may be an option for you, but that's okay. So what we did was we ran the installer just to get a good idea of what it looks like, see what options we actually have and then installed version. And so I'll go ahead and uh, I will click install now shortly. To get the install, you have the option to custom install. And they say by using the product, you agree to the terms. You can install the free version, which they don't make look too appealing with the lack of colors, but you could try the home edition as a trial. So the install process is pretty quick here. And uh, once it's done installing, then you can you know, access the uh, the options that you have so we'll just give it a minute to do the install process here it's at 10 percent okay so it made a little desktop icon and uh it's doing its thing it's refreshing explorer installation is complete and you click start now it leads you to a web page where they hit you with the limited time deal. If that's what you want, go for it. Um, I wasn't in it for the limited time deal. I just wanted to see what options I had and if there are any options that were beneficial to uh, three. But uh, for me, open source is the way to go because it'll get done when I'm done. Everybody wants to sell you an upgrade, but you got the free and they'll give you essential backup or restore, which is not gonna do like say if I want to clone a disk or something like that so we'll look at the tools to see we have clone they want to upsell you clone system clone system transfer or anything like that they're gonna upsell you but you could check image create an emergency disk enable pre os mount now mount logs refresh disk but security zone and backup protection would be an upgrade then you have like the basic settings screen and that sort of thing um and it shows where you can save backups and things like that. And then they want you to, you know, kind of upgrade it, which I understand. All right. So we go to, um, Vagon, Paragon backup and restore back, excuse me, Paragon backup and recovery community edition. 
And that's an addition that, uh, that's an option that I would use too. Now you have the option to download a 32-bit or a 64-bit version. I chose to download a 64-bit version for my system. Most modern systems are 64-bit versions. 64-bit uh, architecture. All right, so we ran it to see what it looks like. And, uh, you know, it gives you the standard, uh, do you want to, you know, make changes to your system? And then you accept the agreement and you just run the installer. And then that's what you have is processing the installer. Um, Presses the Explorer, processing Paragon UIM. And it says, thank you for using backup. It's all installed, so we're ready to go. So open it up, ask you, do you want to make changes? And you click yes. And then you have the backup and recovery software by Paragon. And uh, it says loading, PLEs wait. And uh, basically what I could do is I could back up my source and I'd have to click to select to a destination. And uh, I look around at some of the other things that I have. And uh, this function is left for demo purposes and available in the hard disk manager. So you're kind of limited as to what you could do here. So I don't think this would be what I would use. Like I say, it goes back to Clonezilla and uh, the uh, the other one that I mentioned. But Clonezilla would be the first one I would go to. And then uh, the other ones that would probably be secondary. Um, let me take a quick look at my notes. So the ones I would go to are Dr Clonezilla and Drive X drive image xml so in this one like you're kind of limited your kind of hands are tied up i didn't really understand much of it but once again i didn't have just a clone and uh i was just playing around with it just for the sake of making the video so you were watching clone to perfection best cloning software by tech tinktronics uh thank you for watching the video uh, the whole idea behind this channel is if I have a technical project to do, I'll share it here. The video and the idea itself could be the technical project. Please check that you're subscribed, check notifications, share the video, click the like. Also, too, you can follow us on Twitter, known as X. That's our handle. I will post when I uh, you know, get the video done and uploaded to YouTube. So that's another way that you guys can be notified. And I would like to say thank you for watching and your support is greatly appreciated. Visit the link tree. Link tree is in the description, part of the, the video. And it's not all money grabs, it's all kinds of cool stuff. So thank you for watching and have a great day.